Thanks so much for joining us today, Senator Brian Francis. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, the Senate committee released a report today with recommendations. Can you summarize those for us? Well, basically, yes, the objective of the interim report that we did uh, in the Indigenous uh, Committee uh, was to support and amplify the mandate of both the National Center for Truth and Reconciliation and the Independent Special Interlocutor, who work directly with Indigenous community survivors and families uh, to document and share the history and the impact of the Indian Residential School System. Yeah, uh, some, or total, some organizations uh, still have not released documents that they're holding about residential schools. Who are they? Uh, we have the names of those on Appendix B of the report. There are a number of uh, entities that are still yet to uh, release these documents. And it's actually quite disappointing that we have to go the route of asking for them again and having the, you know, uh, the committee do that. Uh, when they should be releasing them anyway, because there's, you know, survivors, families uh, that still are waiting for answers that haven't got answers for a number of years. And again, it's a disappointing that, um, you know, we have to go this road, but it's a road that we are going to go down. Why is it important that these documents are released? Well, it's important to bring closure to, to survivors, to families who have waited for years. Um, you know, some residential school survivors are, are elders now, they're aging, they still don't have answers uh, related to family members and what happened to them in, to, in these uh, residential schools. So it's important that any and all documents be shared with the National Center for Truth and Reconciliation to help bring closure to the families. Are there any explanations as to why it's taken uh, this long to get these organizations to release the documents? Well, that's going to be, that is one of our, our um, recommendations is to uh, have committee meeting early in the early fall and to invite these groups that have not submitted the information to come to the Senate committee to testify and let us know why they haven't released the documents yet. And what are the next steps for the Senate committee? Well, in the next steps in this, for the Senate committees, we're going to be following up on our recommendations. We feel that we've provided an excellent roadmap uh, for the government to do this sacred work along with the National Center for Truth and Reconciliation and the Special Interlocutor's Office. We feel that these uh, recommendations um, are a really good roadmap in, in terms of moving forward and providing much needed answers. And the time has come now uh, to do this. Talk is talk, but really the rubber has to hit the road here now. Uh, families are depending on this and uh, we have to do all that we can to support them. And we'd like to look at an interim or progress report uh, to the committee by December of 2023 just to see where uh, everyone is with the recommendations. Well, uh, I think that's where we'll need to end it for today, but thank you again so much for joining us, uh, Senator Brian Francis. Thank you for having me.